right, guys. We are putting our sawmill to use today, and you can see I'm cutting some of these one bys. And this is an old cherry log we had uh, that we cut down when we first got to the property, and we've kind of been saving it for something like this. So we're going to be building a nice little dog house for our dogs, and they sleep outside in the winter, so it'll be really insulated and whatnot. But we need a bunch of lumber, and we need a bunch of one bys because we're going to be doing some board and batten siding. So um, I'm going to be cutting this stuff up today, and we've, we've got a decent amount that we need to cut up because it's going to be a pretty good sized dog house for our three dogs, but it should be nice and cozy for them. So let's uh, get these back off of here and start cutting some more. So out of that one log, we got seven one by nines, which are going to be the boards. And then we have 10 one by threes, which is going to be our battens. And that's going to be our siding for this dog house. So uh, I need one more of these one by nines and that should be enough for the dog house. And then we're going to be doing two by fours and four by fours for the framing of it. This log right here is much bigger than the last one. And the last one had been kind of sitting in the dirt for a while, so it was pretty rotten, but you can see this one's pretty darn good. We're gonna be cutting all this bark off anyway, so I'm not too worried about if there's any rot on there, but the inside should be nice. Let's, let's start uh, making some sawdust. You can probably see right here was the center of this, this log and I'm trying to stay away from that. So I've been making cuts on this side and so I just went ahead and flipped it. And so we're gonna make some cuts to here and I'm trying to stay away from this. This isn't rotten all the way through, but uh, I don't wanna have that in the center of a board. So I've got 
some two by, some two by, and then a four by on there. And what we're gonna turn this into is obviously two by fours, two by fours, and then four by fours. And yeah, that's for your doghouse. And so we're gonna cut these, we're gonna lay these up on their sides and then we're gonna slice them down to a two by four or a four by four. There we have some true two by four. That's something you can't buy at Lowe's. And then we've also got a true four by four. Another thing you can't buy at Lowe's. I'm really enjoying this sawmill, getting to make true dimensional lumber. And at the bottom here, all we're left with is some two by two and another two by four. It's taken me a little bit to get used to the sawmill. There's a lot of different things that you need to align. And if they're not aligned, you're gonna have bad cuts, which I had an issue where the blade was dipping. So I had to figure out how to do that. But uh, I've got it all dialed in for now, I think. Nice sharp blades on there, so it's cutting really well. And uh, out of those two logs, we got just enough to do the doghouse, which is awesome. So what we've got is a bunch of our boards, which are gonna be for the siding. So this is the board portion. This is the batten, which is, this is about a one by nine. I know the other one's a little bigger, but I'll cut it down. And then this stuff is a one by three, and that's gonna go on the overlap between the boards. And then we've got all of our two by fours here. We've got three four by fours, and then we've got some one by and then a little chunk here, which isn't gonna be used for the doghouse, but I'll use it for something. That's a, a two by three right there. This sawmill kicks up a lot of sawdust, which is pretty cool, because we can use it for bedding for the cows and the pigs and whatnot. And, uh, but we also get a lot of the cut ends, which is just this stuff that's basically bark or not very strong uh, wood, it's kind of rotten, so that just gets turned into firewood. But yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this sawmill. I'm sure we'll have more sawmill videos as time goes on, but I'm definitely enjoying it. Uh, if you're wondering, we bought a wood miser. This is the LX50 start. It's just the base model that you can get. We don't need anything super fancy. We don't have extremely large logs here in Kentucky. So uh, this thing is just big enough. I can do up to 26 inch logs with this. And it's got a little bit ho lower horsepower motor, which I can always upgrade later. Um, but I don't know if you can tell in the video, sometimes I got to take it slow. If they're going through a knot or something, it'll want to bog down. But, uh, you know, it's just like your tractor and whatnot. You know, we bought a small tractor and it does the job of every other tractor just about except doing hay, but you just have to take it slow. So it's the same with this sawmill. Ugh. Well, we put the sawmill to use today for really the first time and made some really good lumber. and. Soon I'm going to be making these guys their little dog house because it's starting to get cold. It is the first day of fall for us today, so I uh, need to get working on that. And I'm sure we'll have a video about that at some point. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.